Hey everyone and welcome back to part three of Lauren Amazon Princess. I am here with Simon Parsons. Hello. Hello and Laura, aka X Sim Sugar. Hi. Hi. As you'll notice the music, I, I muted it and then I unmuted it and now the music has decided it was angry with me and didn't want to come back. So it's soaking. It's soaking off there. Over there in the sunset. Just it'll it'll be back soon. And um yeah, we're just gonna pick up now. You did miss one little line. We got to start to this. It was pretty rough because I was being a moron and a derp, so we restarted. <laughs> um, the only thing you missed was uh, Simon again saying this looks like a good place to to camp, and then Lauren started stopping off down the road, and uh, that's where we're picking up. Your Highness, what'd you say, Laura? I said cool. Okay. And I said Your Highness. <laughs> Keep up. Saren sprang up from the ground um, where he was about to start a fire and hurried after her. Lauren seemed prepared to travel a lot further that night. He's like, I'm tired. <laughs> Saren steeled himself for a very long walk, but he found it more and more difficult to keep his position behind Lauren. He was beginning oh, to walk much slower. <laughs> I, I know, we are, we are four-year-olds. <laughs> it's just it's just easy. You just pace yourself and stare firmly at her bum. It'll be fine. <laughs> Lauren's feet were dragging against the ground rather than proudly stomping ahead like earlier in the day. Saren knew that Princess Lauren was tired. We should stop for the night and make camp. My mother is out there waiting for someone to save her. That someone is me. Lauren was not going to stop for even a moment until Queen Karen was recovered. It was now Saren's job to keep her from sabotaging herself uh, her with her own determination. I keep thinking that says Kraken, like Queen Kraken. <laughs> <laughs> uh, joking, friendly, or forceful? For who? Mm. For him to her. Yeah, friendly, friendly is going to be a complete waste of time. Mm-hmm. Um, oh, well. I'm, you know, no, I'm sorry, someone you have to call your highness, your highness. <laughs> joking joking might work, and then again, slapping her across the back of the head and just uh, waiting for her to recover might work as well. <laughs> mm. I don't think, I don't know. Do you want to go with joking, Laura? Would you feel better about that? Laura's like, friendly. Let's have a friendly conversation. <laughs> <laughs> We can all be friends. We're equals. <laughs> <laughs> um, whatever. Just, I honestly don't mind. What do you think, Simon? I, I'd go with joking. Okay. By the way, you're swerving all around. You either have a hidden bottle of wine or you're tired. <laughs> Lauren halted and spun around. Hmm. <laughs> better view. What did you say to me? Saren knew when his, that, then that his life was over. He was too used to speaking freely with his previous mistress, and his tongue got away from him. <laughs> I'm sorry, princess. What I meant to say is that I'm too exhausted to continue. Lauren shifted her weight and put her hands on her hips. They are already on there. You? Yes. Uh, yeah. I'm a big snorer. I hope this is not a problem. <laughs> Lauren evaluated him, though only superficially. Deep down, she was more tired than Saren. How random is that? <laughs> I had thought that you were stronger than this. Lauren pushed past him and into the bushy grass. She sat down cross-legged, her back straight and her arms resting on each knee, just like Amazon royalty. Lie down, man. <laughs> Lie down, man. I will give you only a few hours. Do not waste them. <laughs> <laughs> Before it's round two. <laughs> she does sound like some dominatrix mistress, doesn't she? She does. She's going to make him like go clean her toilet or something. Well, I, I was thinking, you know, I, I normally come on these things to do the innuendos. Shall I just Laura's go to bed? It fine yeah, this yeah, time. No, yeah. no, no, Simon. <laughs> I'll just take the day off, shall I? Why not? <laughs> Getting Lauren to stop was enough for Saren. He decided not to waste his mistress's generosity. He promptly walked over and laid in the grass next to her, but not too close. Damn it. 
<laughs> Saren woke a few hours later to Lauren calling him. He did not see Lauren sleep a wink. However, Lauren's speed and alertness had improved, letting him know that she might have rested after all. I have seen no population since we left. I was told the Grimoire, Grimoire settlement was on this route. Where is it? Is it past that mountain? It's a magical city. It's probably hidden or something. Which mountain, mistress? You see, before us, you've instructed me to walk straight for it. Princess, that is not a mountain. That is the city of Grimoire. Lauren stopped once again to turn to her servant. That is not a city. It is too large. That's not a city. This is a city. <laughs> <laughs> is, oh, man. <laughs> it is a large walled city like the Citadel. Now I want to watch that movie. <laughs> Amazons? Lauren yes, I believe they her. deliver it as well. Lauren reached for her sword, <laughs> bristling at the thought of a competing tribe so close to her home. Have you seen the the Amazon little like uh, same day like half hour delivery drones that they they have they're planning on implementing? Yeah, in the future? <laughs> yeah. They're crazy. I'd be creeped out. No, Grimoire is the capital of the Empire, the nation of men. Put that thing away. You might hurt somebody with that. <laughs> Lauren looked at her blade and frowned and slid it back into its sheath. Others can build cities as great as the Citadel. Are you sure of what you speak? Yes, castles can be constructed by any nation with the proper materials. You didn't know that? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Lauren winced from the insinuation that she was not well educated. I know that Amazons are superior to all other nations, so the Citadel is superior to all other castles. Yes, Your Grace. <laughs> Saren learned just how sheltered Lauren truly was. Even his former mistress knew all about the outside world, but then she was allowed to travel outside the Citadel's walls. Lauren was not. He knew then that he would have to take better care of his princess than he anticipated. You are now being taken to the world map. Locations will appear as they're discovered in the storyline. Oh my god. I have to sneeze. Hang on. No, good. Okay. Sometimes when you travel to a city, you will encounter a random battle. These battles are optional, unlike the battles that are trigg triggered in the storyline. You can also access camp button on the map. That This will take you directly to your camp group's campsite so that you may speak with your party members. Getting to know each character is important to the game and may even lead to romance. See what you can find. I, oh, think, I, I think I went on holiday there as a scout. Camp button. <laughs> Great place. Quite a the sea. <laughs> The music just blasted on and scared the crap out of me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that's our camp button. These are nothing. Um, so Grimoire, we go in there. Sounds like a place to go. Boom, Grimoire. As they approached Grimoire, the path cut through a wooded area. Lauren stopped abruptly and held her arm out to stop Saren. Her expression was serious and her voice low. Something, Something isn't right here. Bitch, <laughs> <laughs> that's my line. <laughs> Didn't think you could do the voice low enough. I'll tell you what, let's swap. <laughs> Something isn't right here. Deeper. <laughs> <laughs> they looked around examining the area for anything out of the ordinary. Then they saw it. Oh, she's the music. I'm so sorry. <laughs> okay, you guys have heard the music. There we go. <laughs> it's so loud. Okay. So someone was strung up by their feet from a tree limb, head down with a bag covering their body. The bag writhed. They were still alive. Please, Please help me. Help me. <laughs> <laughs> They've got three sets of vocal cords. <laughs> oh, God. Lauren and Saren rushed towards the person, okay. but several little screeching creatures sprang down from the tree. Goblins! Fear shot through Saren as he, re as he realized that a battle was now upon them, and that Princess Lauren had never fought outside of training. It was up to him to protect the princess. Uh Watch yourself. Same to you. <laughs> Lauren drew her two swords swiftly and hurried to engage the enemies. 
You do not have to give me any instruction. <laughs> <laughs> Sarah was surprised to see how swiftly Lauren moved as she fought. You can hear the sound effects. It's so funny. She started with a vertical slash that moved so quickly that her blade looked like a solid arc of silver. The goblin collapsed to the ground in a bloody mess as she lifted her so lifted her other sword in a horizontal slash to behead another goblin. She danced between the enemies and evaded their attempts and counterattacked with ease. Saren looked surprised to see how beautifully deadly all of her movements were. Lauren impaled another goblin through the heart with one quick stab, retracting her blade and flicking the blood off the metal with casual ease. She didn't have to stop to catch her breath, nor did she break a sweat in the short battle. You are about to select your party formation. Right now, you have only two party members, but later in the game, you can have up to six. Yeah, I already selected it. You want Saren in the back row. Prepare yourself for the first fight. Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, attack by clicking on enemy portraits Ooh. or by clicking ally portraits for friendly actions. Hover over the portraits to see detailed information on the left panel to repeat this action. The last action performed simply click twice on the portrait. Quick hop button. Oh, okay. Um, show, res show resistances? It shows us what he has, too. Oh, no. It shows us what is his resistances. Um, they're weak to fire... Air, dark, and they resist earth attacks. Okay. This is in depth. This is crazy. Mm. Um, so do we want to do just a ranged attack on him? I thought so. Uh, ranged attack with accuracy. Aim? Okay, so what we've got specialized range. The aim shot is zero SP. What's the other one? Uh, basic long range shot. Yeah, the other one does more damage? This does way more damage. Uh, but it's much, much slower. Yeah. Look at the movement order. Yeah. So this is probably more... Uh, it's probably a good place to start, isn't it? Yep. Oh. Oh, you killed him. Yay. I wanted to keep him as a pet. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So we got 60. So we had... How much money did we have? Did we get any gold? Hmm. Um, well, it's the 61 gold there. Let's have a look at the party screen after. Okay. Saren hurried to keep up with her, but the fight was over quickly. Lauren kept her swords in her in hand as she approached the stranger and cut the restraining rope. Saren grimaced, but found some amusement at Lauren's obvious lack of concern for the person. I'm going to turn the music back on. Eh, there we go. That's a kiss. <laughs> the person tumbled down from the tree, groaned, and squirmed out of the bag covering him. A lithe, blonde man stood up and brushed the dirt from himself. Sorry, wait, man? Yep. <laughs> Oh, the ground. Hurts quite a bit, actually. <laughs> Who are you? Even though the man's ears were tucked neatly behind his hair, Sarah noticed them sticking out from his disturbed look. Oh my god, the music is too loud. Damn it. <laughs> 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 I really want to have it, but it's way, 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 way too loud. Um, okay. Next time there's a character that's going to be in the party, I should probably take a voice, so I'm just not, not just narrating the entire thing. You can do this one if you want. I just the, the, the ears, they were pointed. One at her, <laughs> one at the ground. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Oh, oh you can tell. Can tell. <laughs> I'll take over for Draco. If you oh, want. okay, go on. Okay. Oh, you can tell. <laughs> he cleared his throat and smiled. Hello, Martin. <laughs> He's not Southern. <laughs> Elf on my mother's side. Yes. <laughs> he bowed deeply and with unnecessary flourish. Lady and gentlemen, I'm Draco Firestarter, and yes, I do start fires. You start fires. Great, we in can my count. pants. <laughs> <laughs> She's not wearing any. No, I don't think she is. Actually, you can't no. see any pant line there, can you? No, it's just it's just a loincloth. She's flying through, flying. <laughs> She's <laughs> free balling. <laughs> Enough of your free balling. Enough of your nonsense. Lauren waved her weapons as if he were much of uh, as much of a threat as the goblins. Was it simply because he was a man, or had her isolation at the Citadel turned her paranoid? Did somebody tell you to say that? <laughs> no, no, don't get upset. I'm just playing around. Identify yourself now. Your Highness, he just said. <laughs> I'm surprised you haven't heard of me. I'm the all-powerful, famous master fire magician. He suddenly waved his fingers in front of him and created a brief fireball. He made a sound effect to accompany it and laughed. <laughs> but his laughter was cut short when Lauren kicked him straight in the chest and hurled him back towards the ground. <laughs> ah, that was a demonstration. I mean no harm, honestly. Your Grace, I believe he won't hurt us. He's not good enough. <laughs> Lauren slowly pulled her sword away from Draco's throat and stood straight. You're right, because he's too incompetent to do any damage. Incompetent? That's not fair. I'm actually really good with magic. All kinds, but fire is my favorite. My last name is Firestarter, after all. It's like, he had that changed. <laughs> oh, <laughs> then, then how did you get captured so easily by a small group of little goblins if you're so powerful? It was a different group. A bigger group. Goblins, tall as trees, yes trees <laughs> you, you you don't understand you see it's my hobby i put myself into a bag and tie myself up a tree it had nothing to do with the goblins whatsoever but thank you for cutting me down nonetheless <laughs> Sarah sighed, knowing there were no such things that's a very convenient excuse <laughs> thanks it was they were accompanied by a very powerful goblin <laughs> shaman i couldn't hold out against them all on my own and the shaman was as big as Enough of your excuses. You're wasting the princess's time. A princess? I had no idea I was in such great company. <laughs> Where did he go? Drago took some uncomfortable steps towards Lauren, so Saren had to block him, pushing him back. All right, I understand. The princess is off limits. The she half will fall for my desire. <laughs> half elf <laughs> eyes locked with his for a brief moment. He smirked, taking Saren off guard. You let your guard down. No matter how tall the goblin is, that's unacceptable. Hmm. I'm more useful than you may think, lady. Perhaps you would be interested in my services? I wouldn't charge much. No, we are not interested. Draco looked disappointed at her blunt response. Not even if I throw in an especially beautiful lady discount? Lauren ignored him and walked away. <laughs> your loss then. Bye, I suppose. They walked away from the disappointed magician. Saren spoke quietly to Lauren once they were out of earshot. I'm sorry, I don't do quiet. I'm sure that <laughs> won't be the last time we see that man. <laughs> if man indeed he was. <laughs> Unfortunately. And we've been tossed back to the world map. So... I think we click desperately on Grimoire until we finally make it there. <laughs> oh, 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 quest completed, travel to Grimoire, reward, a, reward, <laughs> reward 100 experience. <laughs> Level up. Go for it. Um, oh, there's a talent tree. <laughs> oh my god. Um, Can you just imagine the meeting that started this off? You know, we're going to do a dating sim. Now, what does a dating sim need? <laughs> Strategy elements. That's what a dating sim needs. Um, you know, we'll pick all this off screen because it's the it's right about the time when we should end the episode anyway. So I'm gonna save. Alrighty. And uh so thank you both for joining me. Um and thank you all for watching. 
this is this is an interesting game. It's pretty crazy. Yeah. yeah right. Thanks so much. As I, I just um, stay quiet during the kind of fights and stuff because I don't really know what's going on. <laughs> yeah, no, you guys, you guys can just talk about whatever. We'll figure out a pattern, but yeah, the interface is a little confusing, but we've got Simon here to look, watch out for us. Awesome. Yeah, I saw. I think I fell asleep. No, 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 no. No, of course, I'm here to watch out for everyone. Yes, especially goblins. <laughs> so, yes, please remember to leave us a comment below and a like, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. Bye.